guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm standing in front of my Neo Geo once again. This is going to be uh, less of a uh, how-to video and more of a uh, word of warning. Uh, so, <laughs> I just smoked my MVS. This thing is dead. As you can see, the power supply is gone. It's right there. Um, so basically what happened is I am putting in the LED marquee right now. I had stopped uh, because I needed to go pick up some screws and whatnot. I wasn't able to do it the same day. So the machine was just sitting here. I always had this uh, feeling that the sound separation was not good. And I thought maybe a previous owner had wired the speakers for dual mono because this originally came to me with a one slot board. So, so I decided to take a look at the audio and I came up here, I disconnected the left speaker and I flipped the cabinet on uh, to basically to see how, how it sounded. So sitting here listening to the sound and I get a great plume of smoke from the back. Never fun, right? So, uh, the machine stayed on, strangely. So I turned it off as fast as I could. Came back here and I realized that I had the power for the uh, LED marquee uh, still attached, but not. it was just kind of floating loose in the cabinet. So these leads shorted on each other, unfortunately hopefully just on each other. And I think they killed this power supply. The cabinet never shut down on its own. I shut it down, uh, but then it wouldn't power back up. I was getting power to the monitor, but not the board. I don't think I blew the board out because I tried a couple other uh, semi-working boards uh, and I couldn't even get a picture or audio from them. So I tested this power supply and I'm just getting zero across all the pins. So this is just dead. So I have a new one on order from HAP, 43 bucks uh, for my stupidity. Hopefully that was all that was damaged. I won't know until I get the new one and put it in. So let's do a cut to when the new power supply is here. We'll put it in and we'll make sure everything is working again. All right, guys, it's a couple days later. I just got my shipment from Suzo Hap. This is the replacement power supply. Exactly the same as the one uh, that I messed up the other day. And hopefully this is all we need to uh, get our machine uh, running like it's supposed to. So let's take this over to the cabinet. We'll hook it up. Uh, we'll test it, the output a little bit, and hopefully the Neo Geo will be working again. All right, so I'm just gonna get this old one out of the way. This was already disconnected from the mishap the other day. Here is the new one. That's the power switch, and this is the AC, and this is, of course, the DC. Now, before I plug anything else in, I'm just going to um, power this up, and actually, I'm going to power it up outside of the cabinet. so that we can check the voltages before we connect the board. Uh, this is set to 115. And 
I'm sure I showed this in the other video, but uh, my other power supply video, but here's the adjustment uh, for the 5 volt line. So, let's get this plugged in. It's not attached to anything but the switch. And there's a warning on here um, that you're supposed to have at least one amp load on it while you test. Again, I'm not a professional at this stuff. I don't know how much that affects the readings, but I tested it with no load before and it seemed uh, just fine. So I don't know, you know, if, if any of you know uh, if that's like a huge problem and I shouldn't be doing that, you can let me know. But as far as I know, um, you know, it's fine to just test it. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me know. All right, so <laughs> I turned it on, and uh, you know, without without the monitor attached, you can't even tell. This this might even be quieter than the last one that I had. It is just dead silent. But the fan is running, so that's a good sign. Uh, when the other one died, the fan wasn't even going. So I don't know the light on my. Uh, Altimeter does not stay on too well. I don't even know if that's going to be visible on the camera or not. That might be too blown out. I guess it's visible better maybe without the light. So, all right, let's test this out. So, ground is right here in the middle and then 5 volt okay and we're getting a 5.03 you can see that pretty clearly so that's great we are getting nothing on the old one so just that down just slightly A little too low. Alright, 5.01. I don't know if I can get any closer than that. So that's pretty good. And then the 12 volt uh, usually tests a little low in my experience, but it's not as critical as the 5. So we're actually just under uh, 10 on the 12 volt line and that's similar uh, to the previous one was when it was new so I don't think that's an issue uh, the 12 volt it's really just running the sound hardware and from what I understand a little variance is fine so this seems to test out just fine I'm gonna go back and turn the cabinet off again uh, hook everything up for real and then we'll see if the cabinet is working again Okay, let's try this again. Yay! Oh no. <laughs> we have... We did mess something up. We have screwed up graphics. So, that's unfortunate. Uh, man, that's a bummer. I mean, it's nice that the thing is working, but obviously something is uh, not right here. Okay guys, so as you can see, that MVS board is pretty much done for. If you watched my previous video where I finished the LED mini marquee, uh, you saw that I did buy a new board. So the cabinet's running again. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the mini marquees. I'm not giving up on the dead board yet. It's a great opportunity to learn more about tracing down issues and 
hopefully I can get it fixed in the future. I'm not going to prioritize it too much, so you'll see it again in the future. It's not going to be like every week we're banging our heads against this Neo Geo board. I mean, at this point, I don't even know. Like, everything on the board could be wrecked, but we'll see. Um, so that's my plans with that. Uh, as far as the channel in general, I have a lot more projects in the basement. Some of them I haven't even introduced yet. You may have seen them in the background of some of the videos. Look forward to introductions to those and then we'll move forward on fixing what needs to be fixed. And, you know, eventually we'll get into the aesthetic stuff. I don't want to touch the aesthetics too much until the cabinet, until the, uh, the games, you know, are working as they should. So we're pretty close to that with the Neo Geo. I might actually have a new monitor coming in and same thing like with the board uh, even if I get a better monitor and swap that out I'm willing you know I'm gonna try to fix the brightness issue on the existing monitor and then hopefully we'll get to reuse that in some other machine later I don't think that's a cap kit issue from what I understand uh, maybe it's a flyback thing I don't know if that could cause a brightness issue if you know let me know please um, but from what I understand the tube probably needs to be rejuvenated and I'm perfectly willing to um, go down that road if I can find someone local and if not um, we could try a tube swap we could try a universal chassis on a TV tube so I'm willing to try all this stuff you know again I'm new to the hobby and I just want to learn everything that I can and what better way to learn than by doing it. So uh, that's pretty much where the channel's heading. I want to thank you guys again for watching. And as always, hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.